<laughs> Who knows what evil lurks in the heart of game? <laughs> the shadow knows. Hi, I'm the Shadow Knows, and I'm back with another video for my uh, simulator September. This is uh, episode 28, and I'm playing the DMX simulator on the Commodore 64, the Atari 8-bit home computers, the Commodore 16, the Amstrad CPC, the Sinclair ZX Spectrum, the MSX uh, series computers, the Atari ST and the Commodore Amiga. That's quite a lot. And I hope I'm in the correct port. I switched the ports. Let's do start. Okay, fire button accelerates. The first track should be easy. Yeah, but I qualified anyways. And why is it always me that crashes? Why never him? Did I qualify? Yes, I did. Yeah, and it has a replay feature, which replays the last race. Not sure if that feature is in the other versions as well. Yeah, here you can see how crappy you played. The yeah, graphics are actually okay. Sound is a little bit blur. And the controls are responsive enough, so yeah, if you like those single screen overhead racing games, this is not a terrible one, at least not on the Commodore 64. Don't think I ever played any other version of this. Great, and always the wrong direction. I will not qualify for the next round. No, surely not. And I really hate that it always turns to 180 degrees. Yeah, did not qualify. And since there are tons of other systems to play this on, 
I will continue with the Atari 8 bit version. Okay, back with the Atari version. And I don't have to change anything, I can just press fire, I think. Or what do I have to press? Start. Okay, it looks very brown. Oh, ah, fire is. So there you go. But it is controllable. Hey! And I hate. Great. I'm exactly in the wrong direction again. Fuck. Yeah, I used to sort of like this on the C64, yeah, but the controls are perfectly fine. Everything I hate about this game, I also hated about the C64 version. Except that the graphics weren't that brown on the C64. And I hate that! Why didn't I fall? Oh, no, I fell. Did I make it in time? Yes, I did. Why did the computer get a head start? Shit! Yeah, it's a good port. Everything that was wrong in the C64 version is also wrong in this version. So they basically only changed the graphics. Come on! Is it a game over? Yes, it is a game over. So I can continue with either the Amstrad or the plus four, plus 4 right now. Not sure. Okay, back with the Commodore 16 version. And let's press S. Oh great, again only I am punished. Yeah, at least I qualified. Oh great. I really hate this game. Yeah, the hills don't work uh, as they did on the Commodore 64 or the Atari. Yeah, great, and I'm stuck. Yeah, I can't do nothing. Nothing but wait for the end. Great! Awesome game design. 
It doesn't look too bad on still images uh, for the C16. Yeah, max time is almost over. And awesome, I have to play this again, yeah. Still waiting to find a good game on the C16 plus 4. Oh great! Again, only I am punished for it. And this is definitely the last time I'm going to play this. Great! Again, only I am punished. Which makes overtaking the opponent let me guess, I'm stuck again. No! Uh, fuck! I really hate those. Those games, I really hate them. Game over. Okay. On to the Amstrad, I think. Okay, back with the Amstrad version. How do I start? Yes. And I hope it's better than the Plus 4 version. And yes. I think it controls. I'm not sure if it's better, but hello? I think it's easier. And it's slower for some reason. Maybe that's what makes it easier. And the colors are much more vibrant. And I've won. Yeah, the computer player is also much more stupid. And I think the Commodore 16 didn't have the action replay feature. Pro probably because of a lack of memory. Oh shit. And I'm still not liking this fucking game. And the bad thing is that I have to play this several times more. Because there is still a Spectrum version, an MSX version, an ST version, and an Amiga version left. And I don't expect them to be better. Hey! Sound is not the greatest. Ah! 
Uh, and the 180 fucking degrees turn every time. Is it over? Yes, it's over. Onto the spectrum. Okay, back with the spectrum version. Yeah, it. For some reason, it doesn't feature any sound. At least I don't get any. <laughs> yes. I know. I always. Did I mention that I don't like this game? Yes, thank you! If I do the same thing, I get punished. Yeah, did I mention that I really don't like this game? And the monochrome graphics on the spectrum don't really help, yes, I try it again, I don't, won't be able to finish this. Yeah, don't ask me why there's no sound. Oh, there is sound. It's just very quiet. Oh, let's, let's crank up the volume quite a lot. Also, my speakers are Not very good. But I don't think you are missing a lot with the sound. How am I? Also, the cyclist is very large and the track is very. No. How am I supposed to get past him? Okay, one more try. I want to see the second level for some strange reason. Let's crank up the volume. Again. No, the sound does not want to play. Oh shit! Oh, I'm. I'm following. Or I was following the wrong. Cyclist. Oh, fuck! I hate this game so much. And this is the game with the most different ver oh, uh, versions I have to fucking play. Again, great day game design. Awesome game design. And I'm not trying this a third time. Oh, I qualified. Yeah, there is some sound, but my speakers are not able to reproduce it right now. Why am I so slow? I really, really hate this game. Yeah, eight different versions of this game. So I have to play the same fucking game that I absolutely hate eight fucking times. And I qualified for the next round. Great. I have to play it even longer. Yes, and I, of course I get punished for this. And of course the driver is in the completely wrong direction. Again, <sighs> yeah. 
Again, of, of course. Of course. And again, of course, wrong direction. And that's the game over. On to, I think it's the MSX. Okay, back with the MSX version, and I hope this supports the joystick. Uh, return to select. I want a joystick. Yes, please. Hope it works. The usual S to start the game. So, fingers crossed. I hope now I'm in the... Yes, I'm in the right hole. Yes, of course. <laughs> Let's try this again. But this uh, doesn't appear to be the worst version of the lot. It actually feels quite playable. It also, I forgot. it also seems to make good use of the uh, MSX hardware, so it's not a lazy port. Oh shit! You have uh, proper sprites, and with the proper sprites, you also have fluent gameplay. And yes, I'm really trying in this game, but... Did I make it? Qualified. Great. It's definitely not the worst version of the lot. Come on! Yeah, but they fixed that issue in the second game, the sequel to this. And I actually bought uh, this game for the C64 back in the days. Just two times more. And I think I also had it on the uh, Amiga. And I surely remember that I did not like it on the Amiga. Oh shit! The Amiga was just a lazy ST port. This was one of the reasons why I why I didn't like it. Oh, <laughs> I really hate this game. Great. Okay, let's continue with the Atari ST. Okay, back with the 
Atari ST. Uh, SPS. Yes, it. Hello? Hello. I'm pretty sure that's the correct joystick. Hello? Or. Oh no, no. Are you fucking kidding me? The other port? Are you really fucking kidding me? And I'm not going to change uh, the, the joystick port. Uh, if you if you have an uh, ST model with a built-in floppy drive, you know exactly why I will not uh, swap the joystick with the mouse. Or the mouse with the joystick. Yeah, it's the most awkward position to change it. So let's see if I... Why did I get five points? Uh, let's try this. Maybe the program works like that. Yes, it does. And you don't die instantly when you crash into your opponent so this already plays a bit nicer than the 8-bit version I still don't like this game, but it surely looks a lot nicer than on the... It's still there. I think just the hitboxes are different. And with different I mean the hitboxes are different from the, from the actual sprites. Yeah, but this is surely more playable than the 8-bit than the 8-bit version. And if I remember correctly, the Amiga was just a lazy ST port. I might be wrong, but we'll see very, very soon. Okay, back with the. Amiga version and let's see what the controls I hope these are correct controls and it loads great and why I think it looks worse than on the ST I might be wrong Yeah, it is playable, sort of. Not quite as frustrating. And the sound is horrible. Yeah, but not quite as frustrating as on the 8 bit. But the music and sound, terrible for an Amiga game. Yeah, I know why it looks so terrible, because it's a little bit squashed. Uh, yeah, they basically just took the ST graphics and put it on the Amiga and forgot about uh, uh, f forgot to uh, adapt it to the PAL screen, so it's at the wrong aspect ratio. And I'm not going to fix this because Codemasters were a 
European company. So this game was not intended to be sold uh, in the NTSC market, it was supposed to be sold in the PAL market. So this is what it have, would have been on most of its players' uh, screens. Yeah, I'm not going to play this again. Yeah, this was the most painful part of my uh, simulator September. Mostly because uh, I had to play it this often and I really hate it. The 16-bit versions are more playable, surprisingly playable the uh, MSX version. I still hate all of them. Yeah, hope you enjoyed this video anyways and thanks for watching.